Yo, what is going on, you guys? So today I'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my current sentiment on LeBron James cards. I know a lot of you guys might own a lot of LeBron James cards. So I'm going to be breaking down what I believe is going to happen to the price of his cards, both in the short term, the mid term, and the long term in this video. Now, before we get into that, I did want to give a big congratulations to Legacy Sports Card 704. That has won our last giveaway for the Cade Cunningham Prism PSA 9. Um, we are going to be hosting another giveaway this week. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for the next giveaway that's coming up. Um, but without further ado, we are going to hop right into this video. Um, so obviously you guys know that the LeBron James sports card market has been on a big tumble since 2021 when it reaches all time highs when his tops chrome base was at 45 to $50,000 his tops PSA 10 base um, was above $10,000 there was a lot of extremely high um, prices during the peak of LeBron James's sports card market and since then we've seen you know a few upswings but for the most part his prices have really settled down and in certain cards of his they are currently trending around the prices that they were going for before the 2020 boom in prices. Um, so we're seeing his cards really come back down to earth. Um, part of it has, of course, been the sports card market that has severely cooled down. And another part of it has been that the Lakers have not lived up to expectations since they won the championship in the NBA bubble. Um, they've, in fact, been missing the playoffs. Um, and during the short term, there has been hardly anything that has been spiking LeBron prices of course he broke the scoring record we saw his prices have a little jump from there but even that wasn't enough to gain momentum um, and so what I personally see happening is that a lot of short-term investors are not seeing short-term opportunity in LeBron's cards because the Lakers are not championship contenders in most people's eyes um, and they're in fact fighting to make the playoffs um, and I think this is causing a lot of people who are holding these cards, which a lot of people who were holding these cards were buying for the short term. There were people who just got into the hobby trying to trade up. As I mentioned in, my, in a video a couple of weeks ago, um, you know, I'm seeing right now there's a lot more flippers in the industry than actual investors who are buying a card with the intention for the price to go up on that card. Rather, there's a lot of people who are buying a card with intention to sell it at a higher price um, and more of a short term flip as opposed to buying it and holding it. Um, and I think this is what's caused LeBron's market to go down so much. Um, when you look at the markets of guys like Giannis, um, Steph Curry, guys who are still contending, their prices have not gone down to the you know rate that LeBron's cards have gone down. Um, they've been a l little bit more steady declines, and LeBron's decline has been a lot more harsh. Um, and I simply believe it's because a lot of short-term investors and flippers don't see as much opportunity in LeBron's cards because they are not contending right now. Um, and so the incredibly great opportunity that comes with this is that right now his prices are at an all-time low, but every time a LeBron James card sells, not every time I'll say, um, but a good percentage of the time a LeBron James card sells right now, it's going from the hands of a short-term flipper who was going to sell it very soon. It's going into the hands of an investor who is likely going to be holding it for the long term. Because if you're an investor buying LeBron James's cards recently, chances are you're not trying, you know, to... You, your hope is not that he wins a championship because I feel like most people believe that that is going to be a hard thing to fetch this year, right? Um, you know, so I think a lot of people who are buying into LeBron James's cards now have more of a long-term approach. Um, and what happens when we see, you know, the cards being exchanged from short-term investors to long-term investors is that the supply can really dry up. Um, because these long-term investors who are buying now, you know, maybe obviously expect LeBron James not to win a championship this year. So they're going to be holding it for the long term. And that card is not going to hit the market for years to come, chances are, right? Um, and when a lot of long-term investors start to haul in LeBron's cards, now all of a sudden you see supply drying up. You see not as many in the market. Um, and that is could potentially cause an incredible long-term buying opportunity right now for LeBron's cards. Um, and this is what I'm personally seeing. If you're an investor who's a short-term flipper, 
chances are the best thing you may want to do is to sell um, because you may not see his cards go up in the next six months, right? Um, and I think a lot of short-term investors and flippers have that mindset where it's like, if it's not going to go up immediately, I don't want it. Um, and I would rather sell it. And every time it gets sold, it's chances are it's going to a person who's going to be holding it long-term because everyone at this point I would say in the market expects LeBron not to win a championship this year, not to have a chance to really win a championship this year. And so I think that's kind of common knowledge that short-term investors are like sell, long-term investors are like, I'm fine buying because if it goes up in 10 years, that's all I need, right? Um, and I think we can all agree that LeBron is, you know, the guy of our generation. He is the guy who everyone who grew up in my generation, he is like our MJ, um, whether you want to call him better or worse or whatever the comparison, um, I would say for our era, he is the face of the NBA. Um, and I think, you know, him going down as a top two, top three, whatever you guys want to call it, I'm not here to debate that, but an all time great. That is very fair to say. I believe in the long term, his prices are going to do incredibly well. Um, I do feel like at this point, his prices are underpriced compared to other all time greats, other guys of the caliber of LeBron. I do find his prices very low compared to where they could be. I personally see that top Chrome Refractor PSA 10 in the long term being a six figure card. Um, well into the six figures is what I personally see it being. Um, but I think that's going to take some time, right? Um, and so it really depends on your strategy. I'm not here to sway you guys one way. I would just say if I was looking in a short term perspective, I think it could be a good time to sell. If I'm looking in a long term perspective, you're never going to time the bottom. I believe it could be a great time to buy. I don't see his card spiking. I don't see his cards going up 20% in the short term. That is why I don't see it as a good short term opportunity. But if you're buying it for the long term, even if prices stay steady for some time, maybe rise 3 to 4%, 5%, um, more of a steady gain, I think it's a great time to be buying in. Um, you know, that is how I personally feel. I feel like the supply for LeBron's cards has already started to dry up. Um, you know, if you look back a couple months ago, you know, December, January time, you saw LeBron's flooding the market. Um, you know, me personally, who's consistently a buyer and seller in LeBron James's market, I was personally seeing a lot more deals hit the market a couple months ago than you're even seeing now. Um, and so I think a lot of the short-term investors have already gotten rid of their LeBron cards. If not, they will be getting rid of them very soon. Um, and I think a lot of long-term investors have already bought LeBron cards or they're going to be buying them very soon. And so I think when a, enough of his important cards accumulate into long-term investors' hands, we're going to see you know, the demand, even if it stays the same, I think the supply is going to be going down. Um, you know, I think the ongoing supply is what I call it, um, and that is pers that's essentially how much are at how much how many LeBron cards are on the market at one point, point. Um, and I think that number is going to continue to decline as long term investors hold on to these cards. And I think as the ongoing supply goes down, as we see less on eBay, as we see less at shows, as we see less in the market. We're going to see, even if demand stays the same, I think we're going to see as prices really start to trend up. Um, you know, of course, the economy is another big factor. There's many other factors that are involved in this. But this is my personal analysis of the LeBron James sports card market right now. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you guys believe um, is going to happen with LeBron's market, whether you guys are buying or selling, um, and what card is your LeBron Grail card. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe. Get us to 50,000 subscribers. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'm out. Peace.